My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch and I'm a neurosurgeon that specializes in spine. What is the one condition that causes more disability around the world than any other condition? I'll give you a hint. I treat it every day. Acute back pain. <sighs> one quarter of U.S. adults have experienced back pain in the past three months. Now there's a lot of treatment for lower back pain. There's physical therapy, there's medications such as over-the-counter medications, there's prescription medications, there's chiropractic treatment, acupuncture, and lots of things that we do to treat back pain, including even injections. There's even back pain that'll bring you to surgery, which is what I do all day. So what if you tried all of that, all the conservative treatment, you've seen a surgeon and you're not a candidate for back surgery, or maybe you had back surgery and it didn't help you. We call that non-surgical refractory back pain. There's more than 500,000 people that experience this. Efforts to improve pain management has been prescribing opiate medications, and now our country is in an opiate crisis. I wanna teach you about an option to treat this non-surgical refractory back pain that you may or may not have heard of. I'd like to teach you about spinal cord stimulation. Do you know out of those 500,000 people that only 5% have been offered spinal cord stimulation as a treatment option? A recent study just came out that showed 78% of the patients with back pain experience more than 50% of relief of their pain at 12 months after spinal cord stimulation treatment. Also, more than 50% of patients received profound relief, meaning relief of their pain more than 80%. That basically means more than half of the patients went from a pain score of 10 out of 10 to 2 out of 10. Now that's pretty impressive. I know a lot of you guys think that spine surgeons just want to operate all day, and trust me, I love operating. But my job is to make sure that my patients experience relief in whatever fashion that we need to do in the least invasive way. So how does this voodoo work, you might ask me? Well, think of it like if you bump your funny bone. Ow, ow. Now, why do I do that? Why, when you bump your funny bone and you rub it, does all of a sudden the pain feel better? Our brain no longer feels pain when we rub it, overrides the body's perception of pain, and all of a sudden we feel rubbing. That's how it works. It's magic. It overrides our body's perception of pain. It tells us that we no longer feel pain. We just feel nothing. Some patients even feel a tingling or fluttering sensation. That's better than pain, right? Obviously not everybody's a candidate for this, but I suggest that if you'd like to learn more, read about it, learn about it, and ask your doctor about it to see if you might be a candidate. Follow me for more spine-related content and let me know if there's anything else you'd like for me to talk about.